It looks like such a wonderful resort. It's got a big marina with a hotel, swimming pools. This is going to be awesome, so we thought. The Tarpon Springs Marina at the Western Resort in Cape Coral looked like it would be the ultimate destination for a nice little getaway by boat. We pulled into the marina, got our fuel after crossing Lake Okeechobee, coming from Stewart, Florida, and we were going to take advantage of the restaurants and all the other stuff that goes on. The highlight of the evening was the High Tide Social House. It's a pretty happening place and the food is very good, the price is very reasonable. This is the walkway that you take to get to the bathhouses from your boat. It's only about a quarter mile away because you have to walk around the entire outskirts of the marina to get to where you need to go. However, once you get to the bathrooms, they're quite nice. They're well taken care of, controlled by a code. There are only two of them, and they are in a portion of the marina that if you go at night, you're going to be fighting dragonflies and bugs and... All the bright lights around that area are just making it a very hard time to get in and out. The marina had all the services, it got the pump outs, and probably some of the most expensive fuel that we found out on the uh, island. So I'm a little sunburned, <laughs> and just a little hot and sweaty, because it was like a... Uh, 95 degrees today uh, got to this marina a little expensive five dollars a foot 150 bucks plus tax tag title out the door 180 but it doesn't have a pool however when you look at all the aerial photographs of the marina and or the Westin marriott hotel it looks like there's gorgeous pools and there's pools literally 20 feet from the docks but it turns out they don't have a reciprocal agreement so you've got a really nice marina with very expensive fuel, 565 a gallon, I think I paid. And uh, no pool and no reciprocation. You can't even go into the Marriott. And I'm a Platinum Marriott member. Went in and said, hey, can I buy a day pass to use the pools and facilities? No, we don't have an agreement for that. So it's like a very nice marina, but until they get some agreements into place or something like that, there's nothing to do here as far as transients go. So what I did is I canceled tomorrow's reservation and we're gonna to go to Tweeny Resort, which is out on um, Captiva Island. We'll see how that works out. And um, in the meantime, uh, Tree's got the near half a mile walk to the showers. Um, and then uh, we'll call it a night, climb into the air conditioning and uh, the marina does have 30 amp and 50 amp power. So we're okay there. Um, they're still rebuilding, and that seems to be an excuse for everything. Well, since the hurricane, we're still rebuilding, we're still rebuilding, and, and they are. But don't use it as an excuse for everything. Um, I mean, if you said, I don't have any more slips with power because of the hurricane, and they're all taken, I understand. But we've got a very large condominium complex right here, and what's happening is I guess those people can purchase a slip inside this marina because there's a lot of boats on lifts, and the lifts aren't something you would find in a marina unless... There were owners. So the marina seems to be shared by this big condominium kind of complex. And uh, as far as the Westin goes, all marina operations are handled by this marina. But this marina is not tied into the Westin. Totally different ownership. And they have no reciprocal between them. So just can expect that. Let's uh, see what Tweenies looks like. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good report from there. Keep an island. Dudley's thingy too. On our way to Captiva Island after leaving the Caloosahatchee River, we're into the mangroves and then into the back areas, and we're just following the chart plotter. Well, we're doing the mangroves right now, and it's hard to believe how much damage is still left over from the storm. And you look at these houses, they're literally two feet above where the water level is now. It makes you wonder who would build like that, knowing that if there was ever a hurricane and tide came up two feet your house is toast how about you would you live here no sorry right. it it's beautiful but you're literally sea level there you go you can still see 
the hurricane damage. A lot of the houses here are just distraught. It looks like they've been abandoned. And then you got docks, which have got trees all into them. Look, that one cleared the old stuff out. You didn't mean to. It's a little windy as we approach the dock at Tween Rivers Resort, so I wasn't able to pick up the camera other than to snap this quick picture. But this is the approach to the fuel area, and there was somebody there to greet us and help us with the ropes. We're just going to be right here. How awesome. Where are we going? Ready to have fun. I'm excited. And uh, we're done at the fuel dock, and now we got to move to our spot right there. As soon as we stepped off the boat, we were greeted by other boaters. The friendly atmosphere was just unbelievable. People would come up, introduce themselves, invite you to their little group meeting that they're having tonight. In this case, it was a cruiser club that was in town, and they were having a ball. Friendly people at the check-in say hi. <laughs> this guy's on every video that I've ever watched about this place. <laughs> and now you're in this one. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you look up to the water, that's, that's all him. Is that or Jay Leno? I'll tell you, there you go. He's pretty stressed. He's following Dad. Ron, can you hold your dog? Yes. Come Can on, we get doodles. Reservations for that house? We, go ahead. Is it here part of the resort? Yeah. Yeah, then just tell them you want in. Do you want to go find dining? What's our other option? Coffee shop, I, pool bar. Where's the pool? Ooh, they got nice sweatshirts. I don't want sweatshirts, but I'm sure. Ooh, got a nice pool hat. Bar. They serve lunch and drinks. Pool and beach towels, fitness center, marina, pelican jewelry. Bikes, kayaks, complimentary comfort. Okay, Old Captiva House. And what's the crow's nest? Are you getting our game plan? The Let's crow's nest is a bar and grill, and Old Captiva House is the high end restaurant. We're, let's go high end. You want to? Yeah, we've All come right. this far. Might as well. Bentley the Wet Golden Doodle just got his bath, and now he's all chilling out, relaxing on the boat. Just waiting for the mama to come back from the pool. Fishes. Oh, it's a manatee. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. He's looking for He's some fish. He's missing one flip. Is he? Yeah. yeah, we have uh, by us, and there's a sandbar, and they roll on the sandbar to get and the clear the bar. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're going to be sitting in like <coughs> the water, and then you're going to see that one. Yeah. 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 Now this was awesome. These kayaks and the bikes you're about to see are for the guests to use and I don't believe there was a charge. We never took advantage of it, but you can jump on a bike and it's less than a mile ride into the downtown portion where restaurants like the Bubble Room and a few others are right there, plus gift shops. It was pretty cool. Uh, so this is cool. There's all your beach towels. You just wave your room card in front of that pad. The door opens up, and you walk out to the pool. She sees me. Right now. At Tweenies, they definitely do it right. There are no less than four waiters walking around taking drink orders, food orders. You can eat right out at the pool. It was pretty neat. If you don't have a boat, that's not a problem. There's plenty of hotels and little cottages that you can rent right here at the resort. Everyone who was staying there says they've returned multiple times and they really are affordable and have a great environment. Are you gonna come? <laughs> Time for her to take a picture. As soon as I get my picture.
offer some fine dining and wonderful cocktails. Tree's really enjoying this. So Tree and I are standing here waiting for the shuttle. That's going to take us to the downtown area. So uh, come along with us and take a look, see what we got. We didn't have our humidity yet, but since you guys have it, I know on the way back, we're bringing it with oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> it's going up there. Yeah. Well, this is the downtown section. We just got dropped off. We're going to spend the day looking around. Come along. They got golf cart rentals. Go ask. Stores and shops. Except our street I bet you the fire department was busy during the hurricane. Well, they're not open yet. It's only 1045. They open at 1130. But there are some nice chairs right there on the beach. Gulf of Mexico. Your impressions of Kaftiva? Super cute, super tiny. Can't wait for the bubble room to be open. <laughs> Growing up in Orlando, there was a bubble room restaurant. It was a place where you went for your birthday, anniversary, on Mother's Day. It was an amazing restaurant. For some reason, they just shut down and sold out and closed it down, but it was an eclectic experience. This one had been ruined by the hurricane. They're probably a couple months from opening, but they do have a little bakery and they're known for their cakes out front. So we're gonna walk over now and have a piece of cake and we'll share that with you. This is Boops, um, which is the unofficial bubble room. No, I guess it is official. Anyhow, they have all the cakes in there and stuff. It's amazing we had a piece of the orange cake and, and uh, it was just mouth-watering how's, how's, how's the cake bubble room orange cake greatest thing to come <laughs> so Tree and I decided to go to the crow's nest for our second night's dinner and the French onion soup the start of the meal was fantastic. It's prime and dry and aged. All right, we were gonna stay the one night. We were having so much fun here at Tweenies. 
Tween River Resort, whatever you want to call it, Tween Island Resort. And I was surprised how nice this place is. The pool was amazing. Everyone we met, we just became friends with. We were talking with them, having a great time, laughing, sharing times. Got to dinner with them, uh, sharing drinks with them, smoking cigars on their boat. I'm coming over to our boat. Just like everyone who was here is somebody who we should have known our whole lives. And uh, we really had a good time. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that if you got a boat and you're looking for a place to go for a couple of days, man, come on over to Tween River Resort. It's on Captiva Island. They call it Tweenies. Um, it, it is affordable. Uh, I think we paid three fifty a foot for the boat. Then again, I haven't gotten the bill yet. But once you get uh, your cards issued to you, you can charge anything on the property. Three wonderful restaurants, plus a pizza place. Uh, plus, there's a restaurant at the pool, and they had good food. I had the uh, chicken sandwich, uh, the uh, chicken finger sandwich. Three pieces of good-sized chicken fingers on a bun with uh, tomato and lettuce, and it was amazing. Uh, good times out at the pool drink guys there's four or five waiters and waitresses out at the pool coming by checking on you would you like this another pina colada another strawberry daiquiri whatever you want charge it to your room and then when you check out do the whole thing the pump out on the boat was free no charge no charge for the pump out fuels five and a quarter a gallon but you're on an island so okay i can understand that um but overall a wonderful facility Great friendly people, a nice all around experience. Twinies Resort, if you haven't tried it and you're looking for a place to go that's affordable where you can have some fun, especially if you have one or two boat friends boating with you, man, come on out. This, this is the place to be. All right, well, thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe my videos. We're trying to grow a network here and I appreciate you for coming along. Now we're gonna head back on the uh, St. Lucie River and through Lake Okeechobee and it's going to take us two days to get back and we'll have you follow us along. Thanks for coming along. Bye.